Uh, doktor, tak dengar suara doktor. Dengar tak? Dengar dia. Ah, dengar. Dengar ke hmm. tak? Ah, baru dengar. Ah, baru. Dari tadi tak dengar. Eh, dari tadi tak dengar. Ha, ah, tak dengar langsung. Apa? Saya cakap seoranglah maksudnya. <laughs> Okey, tak apa. Sekarang dengar dah. Alhamdulillah dah. Hah? Okey okey. Dengar. Ah. Dengar. Siapa tak dengar tadi? Siapa tak tahu? Okey, ha so we we stop our lesson, previous lesson. Ah, example to the Example, the point. Two point eight. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Integrate x square exponent to x dx using by parts methods. How to solve this problem? Ah, dah kita bincang lah. Eh, dah bincang lah. Ah, dapat tak? Dah lah kan? Okay, this one integration by partial fraction. Ah, uh, yang ni belum. Belum lagi yang ni. Okay, so proceed integration by partial fraction, okay. So you have to identify your fraction is proper or improper fraction, okay. So proper fraction, power of fx less than power of gx. Okay. So this one is numerator or denominator? Numerator. Numerator, right. So you have to make sure, okay, the power of let uh, fx which is denominator less than power of gx so this one is category as a okay apa ni fraction apa ni proper ke improper ah proper proper fraction so what should you do you have to integrate okay first you have to okay convert to the partial fraction so this side is a partial fraction okay <coughs> So this one we already learned for the previous uh, semester one, okay, which is that you have to separate x minus one and x plus one. So this one see a, a this one, why there is no x here? Kenapa tak ada x dekat atas ni? Kenapa ada a dengan b sahaja? Berbanding yang ni, dia be x plus c. Hmm. Why? Sebab apa? Kenapa kat sini dia tak buat A, ni soalan kan? A X plus B divided by X minus 1. Ah, why? Hmm? Because of? Okay, so you have to, okay, look at, okay. Power of fx less than power of gx. So this one x to power of 1. How about this one? This one a x to power of 0. Right? x to power 0 is equal to 1. Okay, so you have to make sure. Power for the numerator must be less than power denominator. So look at here. So this one x squared plus s1. So there is a 2 here. Power of 2. So automatically this one is power of 1. Okay. So this one is the quadratic function and this one is a linear function. How about this one? This one is a linear function and this one is a constant function. Okay, constant function means that there is no value of x. Okay. So this one we already learned. Okay, so find 6x plus 7 divided by x plus 2 squared. Integrate this function by using the partial fraction. Okay, so... <clears throat> First, you have to do the partial fraction. So, A divided by X plus 2 plus B over X plus 2 squared here. Okay. So, you have to compare A is equal to 6. How do you how do you know A equal to 6? Macam mana boleh tahu? Ha? Macam mana? Yusra. Ha, A equal to 6. Why A equal to 6? Ada X. Ha? Dekat mana? Ada X. 
dekat ada x. So, this one A dekat coefficient x. Okay, so you have to compare. Okay. So, how about tu A plus B equal to 7? Where this come from? 7. Wan Amira. Ah. Kenapa tu A plus B is equal to 7? Umu Nabilah uh, Sebab Sebab tak ada X Tak ada X So this one ikut tiga dia as a Constant Okay so constant ya. This one is a constant So you have to compare for the left side and the right The right side Okay Since we already know the value of A is equal to 6 So you can substitute Okay 2 multiplied by 6 Plus B is equal to 7 Okay, then you find the value of B. So, you get the B is equal to negative 5. Since you already know the value of A and B, then you can substitute to the partial fraction. Okay, here. So, the A is equal to 6, B is equal to negative 5. So, positive multiplied by negative, you get negative. Okay, done. The partial fraction. Next, what should you do? You have to integrate. Okay, you have to integrate both sides and for the both function here. Okay, so 6. Okay, 6, you have to move to the uh, inside, outside the integral. So, you get 1 over x plus 2 here. So, this side automatically we know that ln. Why ln? Umar, Umar, mana Umar? Kenapa ln ni? Eh? Hmm. Ya, yeah, Dr. Ah, kenapa jadi ln kat sini? Sebab dia, kalau diikutkan di x tu, Satu huh? per X sama dua. Satu per X sama dua. Jadi kita kan dia jadi non. Jadi non eh. Okay so this one consider as a non because of this one. Let's say you this substitute this one is equal to U lah. So 1 over U. U to power of 1. So U to power of 1 automatically you akan dapat non. Okay this one X plus 2 squared. Ah. Macam mana ni? Kenapa tak jadi non? Ryan, mana Ryan? Ryan Hazik. Ah, kenapa tak jadi lon? This one. Sebab dia bukan denominator. Ah, bukan denominator. Apa bukan denominator? Satu per X tambah dua. Ah, lepas tu? Satu per. Ah. Sebab dia kuasa dua. Ah, because of the power of 2. Okay, so this one consider 5, 1 over u squared. Kalau kita letkan u sama x plus 2, you akan dapat u to power of 2. Okay, remember eh. Kalau u to power of 2 ataupun less than 1, automatically you cannot okay, integrate, you get ln. Cannot, okay. So you have to do the rule number 2. Okay. Clear? Okay, this one fine. Integral 6 minus x divided by 2x plus 1, x squared plus 3, dx by using partial fraction. Okay, can you try? Ke dah siap dah? Dah siap ke belum? Belum, belum. Belum. Okay, try buat dulu. 5 minutes. How to solve? First, you have to find the partial fraction. Next, you have to integrate.
dan Doktor, sikit lagi. Okey. Hmm. Okay, 6 minus A divided by 2X plus 1, X squared plus 3 is equal to, apa ni? Ah. Ada berapa partial fraction kat sini? 1 ke 2 ke 3 ke 4? Tiga. Tiga, kenapa tiga? Hmm? Kenapa tiga? A over 2X plus 1 plus BX plus C is equal to X squared plus 3. Okay, why? Because this side is a 2X plus 1. This side is a linear function. Before linear function is the constant function. So that's why this one, there is no x here. How about this one? This one is quadratic function. Before quadratic is a linear function. Okay. Then what should you do? You have to... So apa lepas ni? Muhammad Hasnawi. Ah, uh, ya yeah, doktor. Ha, buat apa lepas ni? Ah, uh, loan eh. Eh, apa salah nak loan? Kita baru nak, kita baru nak buat partial fashion. Nak cari nilai A. Macam cari nilai A? Compare, compare. Compare, macam nak compare? Ah, compare. Kita harapkan dulu. Ah, you have to, okay, multiply the denominator. So, this one A multiply by X squared plus 3 plus BX plus C 2X plus 1. Okay, divide by? 2x plus 1, x squared plus 3. Okay, lepas tu buat apa? Ha, dah darab? Sama tak belah kanan dengan belah kiri? Denominator. Sama. Ha, sama. So you have to take the denominator only. C minus x is equal to a x squared plus 3. 
plus bracket bx plus c multiplied by 2x plus 1. Okay, how to find the value of a, b and c? Ha, nak macam mana? Compare. Compare, macam nak compare? Kena selesaikan dulu. Kena selesaikan dulu. Okay, selain tu? Selain tu nak buat apa? Macam mana? Hmm. Kalau you kena expand kan Kalau you expand you compare to left side and right side You can follow the previous example Okay Other than that you can let x is equal to negative 1 over 2 How do you get negative 1 over 2? Daripada mana ni? Alimah tu sak dia ah, Daripada mana negative 1 over 2 ni? Kenapa kita nak let x equal to negative 1 over 2? Uh, kita dapat daripada 2x plus 1 tu. Kenapa nak ambil 2x plus 1? Uh, uh. Sebab first dia linear, first dia linear. Ha, sebab dia linear? Ha, kenapa? 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Kenapa nak equal to 0? x equal to negative 1 over 2. Okay. Kenapa nak jadikan 0? Bila kita substitute kat sini akan dapat 0. Bila 0 multiply, multiply the 6x, uh, bx plus c, you akan dapat 0. Any number we multiply by 0, you will get 0. Okay. Lepas tu buat apa? Okay. Bila you substitute, jadi ni jadi apa ni? 6 minus minus 1 over 2 is equal to a. Negatif 1 over 2 squared plus 3. Kan? Plus B. Negatif 1 over 2 plus C. 2 multiply negatif 1 over 2 plus 1. Okay, so this one equal to 6 plus 1 over 2 is equal to A. Bracket, this one equal to? Hmm. 1 over 4 plus 3 plus this one negative 1 over 2b plus c multiply by 0. So this one equal to 0. You akan dapat dalam bentuk A saja. C plus 1 over 2 dapat apa ni? Marsha. Ah, dapat apa? 6.5 Dalam bentuk pecahan? Oh. Uh, 13 per 2 13 over 2 Okay, so this one equal to Eh, multiply by 3 multiply by 4 plus 1 is equal to Dapat apa ni? Zaifah, mana Zaifah? Ha. 1 over 4 di plus 3. 13 per 4. 13 per 4. Okay. Then, you will get, you can cross multiply. You can dapat 52 is equal to 26A. A equal to 52 divided by 26. A is equal to 2. Okay, dapat dah 2. Lepas tu, nak buat apa pula? Hmm. Let apa pula? You can let X is equal to 0. Kenapa X is equal to 0? Nak let X is equal to 0? Ah. Kenapa X is equal to 0? Muhammad Alif. Why you have to let x equal to zero? Hmm? X minus zero is equal to a zero squared plus three plus b multiplied by zero plus c two multiplied by zero plus one. So this is equal to six plus three a 
B multiply 0, you will get B. C multiply by 1, you akan dapat C. Since you already know the value of A, which is the 2, right? So, 6 equal to 3 multiply by 2 plus C. 6 minus 6 is equal to C, C equal to 0. So, you will get the value of A and C is equal to 0. Next, how to find B? Macam mana nak cari B ni? Ah. Farhan, mana Farhan? How to find B? Ahmad Irfan, how to find B? Uh, masukkan nilai A dan C. Yes, you have to substitute the value of A and C. So, 6 minus X is equal to A apa tadi? 2. X squared plus 3 plus B X plus 0 2 X plus 1. Okay, so this one equal to 2x squared plus 6 plus 2bx squared plus bx kan? Uh, then you can compare. Nak compare apa ni? You boleh compare bx dengan negative x. So negative x equal to bx. So this one can be cancelled. So automatically b equal to negative. Negative 1. Okay. Boleh? Faham tak? So, you akan dapat apa? 6 minus x, 2x plus 1. Okay, x squared plus 3 is equal to, A kita adalah 2 divided by 2x plus 1. Okay, B kita adalah x, negative x kan? Negative 1. So, minus x, x squared plus 3. C kita 0. So, that's why there is no 0 here. Okay. How to find this answer is correct or not? Muhammad Faik Hilman. Ha. How do you know your answer is correct? This one. Hmm? You can Okay Plus multiply 2x squared plus 3 Minus x multiplied by 2x plus 1 So this is equal to 2x squared plus 6 Minus 2x squared minus x So 2x squared can be cancelled So you akan dapat 6 minus x Sama tak? Sama Okay Boleh? Boleh nak tanya. Ya. Yeah. Macam tu lah nak check. Nak tak tahu sama ke tak sama. You can accept to back lah. Lepas tu check lah. Sama ke tak dengan soalan. Okay. Then what should you do? Dah siap dah ke? Soalan ni nak apa? Dia nak cari integrate. Ha, integrate this function. So automatically you have to do the integration process. Which is the 2 2x plus 1 Minus x x squared plus 3. Sandi x. Okay. Ah. Lepas tu buat apa? Ah, macam mana integrate ni? Ni integrate apa ni? Jadi apa ni? 2 2x plus 1 dx. Minus bracket x. x squared plus 3 dx. So this one say a. This one b. How to integrate a? Jadi integrate A. Jadi apa ni? Ha? 2 kat luar. 2 kat luar. Kenapa 2 kat luar? Rul. Rul. Okay. 1 over 2x plus 1. Okay. Lepas tu? Ha. Lepas tu jadi apa? Ni. Ha. Uh. Lepas tu boleh let you nak tu? Ah, let let you. Let let you is equal to? Uh, to x 
at 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. So then you can differentiate. You akan dapat 2. So this one dx kan? So jadikan dia sebagai subjek lah. So dx kan? Ha. Kita gantikan balik ke sini. 2 multiple by 1 over u. dx adalah du over 2. Betul tak? Ha. So 2 ni boleh bawa keluar. So 2 hmm. over 2. 1 over u du. So 1 over u. Dapat apa ni? Okay, ln. Ln u plus c lah. Okay. So u kita adalah 2x plus 1 plus c. Dapat dah. Okay, ingat eh. Kalau contoh misalnya kata you uh, tak nak buat lab you pun kalau you dah tahu kan. Okay. Kita tengok koefisien kat depan ni. Kalau dua ni kat bawah ni ada pun kat atas kat ada. So automatically you boleh tahu ni adalah ln. Uh, so nanti kita boleh cancel kan. Uh, kena check koefisien depan x ni. Sebab sebelum ni kita tahu kan integrate 1 over x plus 1 ni sama dengan ln x plus 1 direct dia. Sebab kita tahu depan koefisien x ni ada satu. Dan satu nampak ni. Ha, sama. So maksudnya kat numerator ni di depends kepada numerator dekat depan x. So kita boleh jadikan the ln. Ha, macam ni lah. Okay. Dah dapat dah untuk A. So B. Macam mana B? B dan lah. Integrate ni jadi apa? B. Nak let juga ke? Okay, kita try Kalau let. let juga ada tu. Okay, eh. Let you put to X. X plus C. So, D U D X is equal to 2X. So, D X ni ada sini. Jadi, you kan sebagai subjek. 2X equal to D X. Okay, lepas tu masukkan kat sini. Integrate X over U. D U over 2X. Kan? Lepas tu buat apa? Ha. Ni boleh cancel kan. 1 over 2 integrate 1 over u du kan. So you will get. Ni yang jadi apa ni integrate ni? Eh? Jadi uh, ln u over 2. Ha. Jadi ln u over 2. So 1 over 2 ln u. Uh, kan plus C so you kita adalah x squared plus 3 so O1 over 2 non x squared plus 3 plus C ok dah dapat lah jawapan dia so jawapan dia apa ni jawapan dia adalah non 2x plus 1 minus 1 over 2 non x squared plus 3 Plus C. Okay. Clear? Faham, Faham tak? Faham tak? Faham betul. Ya. Kalau jawapan saya yang part B tu saya buat uh, ln x square plus 3 over 2. Betul kan? Dah apa? Tak dengar. Uh, Ini tak tu. Uh, yang apa yang apa, 1 per 2 ln x square plus 3 tu. Uh, uh. Uh, saya buat jadi uh, ln x square plus 3 over 2. Uh, boleh juga. Okay. Thank you doktor. Boleh boleh. You're welcome. Okay so far ada tak yang tak faham? Ni dia punya cara-cara ni. Ada tak macam tak clear? Saya. Awak tak pilih kat mana? Yang dekat B tu. Yang let U sama dengan X plus ha. tambah 3. Haa. Lepas tu? Uh, yang bawah tu X per U kan. Eh. Yang integrate X per U DU over 2X. Uh, kat situ. Tak apa. Ni. X over U. Eh. Haa. Uh, dekat sini. Tantikan balik. Kita punya X. U ni adalah yang kita dah let. Ha, ni. Sebab tu x over u. Ha, so tengok x over u kat sini. 
Kan? Lepas tu dx ni kita ambil dekat sini. Ha, sebab kita dapat u, kita let u equal to x squared plus 3. Then you have to differentiate respect to x. Okay, bila differentiate, you akan dapat du over ds is equal to 2x. 2x ni dah datang mana-mana daripada x squared here. Okay, lepas tu buat apa? Kita kena jadikan ds ni as a subject. Kenapa nak jadikan ds sebagai subject? Sebab kita nak gantikan dekat dalam integration ni lah. Okay, sebab dx ni ada kat sini. Sebab lepas ni kita tak guna dx, kita guna u. So that's why kita kena gantikan dx ni dalam terms du. Okay. Since we already know that, okay, bila differentiate x squared, you akan dapat 2x. So, 2x ni pun kena include juga dalam ni. Okay. Tapi kat sini x over u. So, this one can be cancel. Boleh cancel. Okay. Bila dah cancel, you akan dapat 1 over u du over 2. So, this one 2 ni sebagai coefficient lah. So, you can move the outside of the integral. So, this one kena 1 over 2. So, integral 1 over u du, kita tahu dia akan jadi ln u plus c. Boleh? So, u ni kita kena gantikan balik lah. x squared plus c. Kenapa? Because this equation as x, not u. Tapi kita use sebagai, kita guna u sebagai integration by substitute, substitution. Okay, clear? Clear, doktor. Okay, good. Okay, eh? Kalau tak clear, cakap lagi lah. Okay, improper fraction. Okay, power of fx greater and equal to power of gx. Okay, so bila dia punya power fx ni greater and equal. Okay, sama eh, ni kan sama macam ni sama. So, what should you do? You have to divide the denominator into numerator. Okay, maksudnya sekarang ni you kena buat apa ni dulu? Long division dulu. Baru dapat yang bentuk ni. Bila dah dapat ni baru you kena buat partial fraction. Okay. Kat mana lagi banyak punya ni punya step? Improper ke proper? Nafal, mana nafal? Ada doktor. Ha. Which one more step? Step yang banyak, improper atau proper? Improper. Oh, Farhan. Ha, Farhan. Kenapa dengan Farhan? Uh, improper, improper. Ha, improper eh. Sebab you kena buat long division dulu. Okay, bila dia balon division, you dapat ni, lepas tu you kena buat partial fraction. Okay, partial fraction dia ada dua cara, which is uh, kalau you expand, then you compare ataupun you boleh let. Kalau yang ni boleh let lah. X equal to negative 1 dengan X equal to 3. Okay, you akan dapat the value of A and B, then you can substitute. Okay, bila dah substitute, make sure eh. Okay, ni selalu student buat careless mistake. Okay, ni adalah untuk yang ni. Okay, satu ni ada. Jadi, you kena buat integrate 1 dx. Ha, selalunya student akan tinggal yang ni. Yang ni, dia akan tinggal. Dia tak buat yang ni. Okay, sebab bila dia dah buat partial, dia ambil yang ni je. Ha, sedangkan sebenarnya ni adalah, soalan dia adalah improper fraction. Bila improper fraction, dia ada term sebelum yang partial fraction. So, this one. Ha, okay, boleh? So sekarang ni bila you dah dapat bentuk partial fraction, this one, okay. Then you can integrate. So this one, integrate dx, 1 dx, you akan dapat x. Nah, yang ni you kena keluarkan. Okay, nampak ni? Bila you keluarkan, you akan dapat 3, 1 over x plus 1 dx. Automatically dapat ln. Sebab apa? Ni, coefficient depan x ni adalah 1. Boleh? Hmm. So kalau misalnya kata integ contoh lah, soalan dia adalah 3 over 3x plus 1. Apa dia punya ni? Integrate ni dapat apa? Ln 3x plus 1. Ha, dia kena tengok ke efficient kat depan ni. Ha, 3. Ni boleh? Ha, ni pun sama. Ln x minus 3. So make sure you do the modulus because ln always positive. Okay. Clear? Clear, Doctor. Okay, so proceed to define the integrals. Okay, define the integrals consists of limits of x which is a a and b here. a to b. Okay, bila a to b, maksudnya u dah tak ada plus c. C dah tak ada, eh? 
Sebelum kalau kita buat integrate dx, you akan dapat x plus c. Ah, c ni adalah untuk indefinite integral. Since you already know the limit for x, so automatically there is no c. Okay, contoh kat sini you dapat 1, 2 eh, dx which is the x. Okay, you have to substitute 2 and 1. So, 2 minus 1. Eh, tak ada itu square. Ha, ni. So, 2 minus 1 equal to 1. Ha, so, fb ni adalah, okay, bila you dah integrate, okay, function, you akan dapat, okay, function yang baru lah, which is the x ni. Okay, mula-mula kita punya function constant kan, ha, bila integrate, you dapat x. So, fb, so b ni maksudnya nilai b ni. Ha, ni apa ni. X bila substitute the value of B here. Uh, the value of B here. Okay. So, dapat 2. Tolak 1. So, FB minus FB. Okay. Uh, macam example uh, example 2.12. Okay. X cube plus 1 dx. So, automatically this one you do the rule number 2. And this one rule number 1. Okay. So, you akan dapat function yang baru. Function baru ni adalah function yang siap integrate. Bila dah siap integrate dan proses integration, then you have to move integral symbol. Dah tak ada integral symbol dan dah tak ada dx. Okay, just ada line negative 1 to 3. Kenapa negative 1 to 3? Because our limit is negative 1 to 3. Then you have to substitute. Okay, then you will get the answer. So you will get the value. Okay, there is no C dah. Okay, boleh? Faham? Boleh. Ya. Boleh tak? Okay, good. So, ni pun sama juga exponent. Okay. So, exponent X ni you kena bawa alih atas. Okay, dia takkan jadi ln. Sebab ln ni adalah untuk, untuk apa ni? Kat bawah ni adalah term, satu term je which is X ataupun U lah. Okay, dia so X ni adalah power. So, this one not consider as a ln. Okay, dia bawa dia jadi negatif then you can Okay, so substitute the value of 0 and 2, you akan dapat negative 2 minus 1. Okay, senang je kan? Antara indefinite dengan definite mana lagi senang? Ha, Ridwan. Indefinite. Indefinite. Ha, kenapa definite lagi senang? Indefinite, indefinite. Indefinite. Kenapa indefinite lagi senang? Sebab tak payah masuk nilai. Ah, tak payah masuk nilai eh. Sebab kalau masuk nilai kemungkinan you akan boleh careless mistake. Okay. So evaluate this one. 3x squared square root of x cube plus 1 dx. So this one you, you, you have to use apa ni? Method apa ni? Integration by substitution ke? Integration by part? Hmm. Substitution. Substitution eh. Sebab you let you here. Let you equal to x cube plus 1. Okay. <coughs> Bila let you is x cube plus 1. So you have to divide respect to x. You akan dapat 3 x squared dx. Okay. Lepas tu buat apa? Ha. Lepas tu buat apa ni? Ni 3 x squared ni. Kenapa tiba-tiba jadi u1 over 2 ni? Mana 3 x squared ni dah hilang? Ha. Negatif 1, 1, dx squared, this one, u. dx ni mana dx? Ni apa ni? Okay. u equal to x cube plus 1. du dx is equal to 3x squared. Okay, so sekarang ada dx, so you have to okay, rearrange the equation so that dx as a subject. Okay, you akan dapat du over 3x squared. Kan? Uh, so, this one can be cancelled. So, this one tinggal u 1 over 2. Okay. Negative 1, 1. U 1 over 2. Okay. Du. Betul tak ni? Oh, Mahalif Haikal. Ah, uh, Is it correct? Negative 1 to 1. U 1 over 2. Du. Hmm. Syawal betul. Syawal betul. Betul ke? Mana awak tahu betul? Hmm. 
Ha, macam mana? Okay, ya, tahu ni. Ni adalah limit X. 1, 2, X, 2. Okay. So, sekarang ni kita ada X tak kat sini? Tak ada. Kita ada U. So, automatically you have to change this one from the X to U. Macam mana nak change? Ha. Macam mana nak dapat ni? Masukkan yang lain macam tu buat ni. So, X kita negative 1. So, you can substitute the negative 1 into this equation. Okay. You akan dapat U equal to 0. X equal to 1, you masuk dalam equation, you akan dapat U equal to 2. So, automatically kita punya 0 to 2, U 1 over 2, D, U. Baru kita boleh buat proses integration. 1 over 2 plus 1, divide by 1 over 2 plus 1, okay, 0 to 2. Okay, boleh. Lepas tu, you masukkanlah ni lain ni. Ni jadi apa ni? U. 3 over 2, this one, 3 over 2, 0 to 2. Ni dapat apa? 2 per 3 kan? U 3 over 2, 0 to 2. Baru masukkan U 2 over 3, 2, 2 over 3 over 2 minus 0. So, akan dapat nilai. Okay. Ataupun, ni dapat lain ni ni, ha, ni. or. Dia masih kekalkan limit of x. Tapi you kena kepala. Okay, siapa sini kan? Bila you dapat macam ni, you tak boleh lah. Kalau you, contoh misalnya kata you tak nak tukarkan limit x kepada u. You nak kekalkan x. So you have to integral proses for you u. Tapi you kena letak in definite integral. Tak boleh letak definite integral. Okay. Bila you do proses, the integral proses ya. Okay, you dapat ini. Lepas tu you kena Substitute u back with the x cube plus 1. Okay, bila dah dapat ni, nampak ni C. C ni refer tu kepada apa? Indefinite integral. Kita tak boleh letak negative 1 to 1. Lepas tu kita nak do the uh, integration process. This one is a wrong concept. Sebab ini adalah limit untuk x, bukan untuk u. Okay, bila dah dapat 2 over 3, x cube plus 1 to power of 3 over 2, then what should you do? You baru boleh letak negative 1 to 1. Ha, baru boleh benda ni muncul baik semula. Okay. Kalau tidak, tak boleh. Sebab ini adalah untuk U integrate by U. Okay. Baru you dapat 4 over 2. 4 set 2 divided by 3. Sama tak? Sama. Which one better? A or B? A. Okay kan? Eh? A lagi senang. B dia boleh akan menyebabkan U. Careless mistake lah nak masukkan tu batang. Kurungan banyak sangat kurungan. Okay. Clear? Okay next. The area of region. Aha. Kenapa kita belajar define integral? Sebab kita nak cari area between the curve and the x axis ataupun y axis. Okay. Sebab bila cari area dia ada limit which is a, a to b. Kalau dia respect to x axis maksudnya dia nak cari area. Between the graph and the x axis. So, this area nak cari. So, limit dia antara A, B. Okay. Ha, so, this one is a use the definite integral. Okay. So, this one formula area. Okay. So, this one area between the graph fx and the x axis. Maksudnya part C x sahaja. Bukan part C y. Okay. 0 to 2. So, you have to substitute. Okay. Limit this one x1. To the x to You akan dapat x squared dx So x cubed over 3 You can substitute the 0 to 2 You akan dapat x over 3 unit squared This one compulsory to okay, Include for the area Because we know that area is a Square, okay, unit square Okay, so nampak ni You tak akan dapat plus c Sebab plus c hanya untuk Indefinite integral For the definite integral You will get the value Okay, value untuk area. Okay, ni sama juga. Area between the curve and the y axis. Okay, okay look at here. Kalau dia kata between curve dengan y axis, so you have to make sure limit kat sini mesti y, nilai y. Y1 dengan y2. Okay, sebab dia respect to dy, respect to y. Maksudnya respect to paksi y. You tak boleh jadikan X kat sini. You tak boleh cari nilai kat sini. Daripada sini ke sini. Sebab dia dah cakap dah. 
dia kata area between the curve and the y axis here. So that's why you have to okay, make sure your value limit must be in the value of y. Okay, what happen kalau dia bagi nilai x? Contoh, y is equal to x plus 2. That's it lah eh. Okay. Ah, so sekarang ni dia bagi nilai x ni limit dia 0 to 1. Ah, 0 to 1 contoh. So macam mana nak check nilai y? You can substitute the value of x into the equation y. So you akan dapat y is equal to 2, y is equal to 3. So automatically kita punya limit kita adalah 2 to 3. So y1 is equal to 2, y2 is equal to 3. Okay. Function dia pun sama. Function dia bukan dalam bentuk function x tapi mesti dalam function y. So you have to rearrange the equation. Make sure x a subject. So you akan dapat apa ni? Y minus 2 is equal to x. So you have to substitute. Okay, this function y minus 2 be y. Boleh eh? Ha, sebab dia tak boleh lah. Dia tak boleh x kat sini. Dia tiba kat belakang ni dy. Dia tak boleh do the integral process. You have to make sure you kena check kat sini kat belakang ni. dy ke dx? Okay, kalau dy so you have to make sure your function in the y variables. No x variables. Okay. Clear? Faham tak? Nur Ain Syafiqah. Ha? Clear ya? Okay. Okay, good. Okay, what's the area between the curve y equal to x minus 2 square and the x and the y exists between y equal to 0 and y equal to 4? Okay, dia kata and the y exists. Okay, maksudnya automatically kita tahu dia di dy. So, this one is the value of y1. This side is a y2. Okay. Ha, nampak ni. Dia bagi function. Macam ni standard eh. Standard dia akan bagi uh, soalan. Function dalam bentuk x. Ha, tapi bila dia kata y exists. So automatically you have to make sure. Your function must be in terms of variable of y. Then what should you do? You have to rearrange the equation. X a subject. Daripada y subject. Tukar kepada x subject. Kenapa? Because you want to do this. We want to use this equation. Y 1 over 2 plus 2. You have to substitute here. Okay, then what should you do? You have to do the integral process. Then you will get okay, the value 40 over 3 unit square. You can substitute dah nilai 4 and 0. Okay, clear? Sedang je kan? Okay. Next, posisi area between the curve. Ah, Kalau between the curve, maksudnya ada dua function. Which is fx dengan gx. Okay. But you have to make sure the fx must be greater than gx. Okay. So fx must be greater than gx. <coughs> okay. So this one is area between the curve. Consists of two graph. Okay. Look at here. Ah, ni. Find the area region enclosed by the parabola y equal to 2 minus x squared and line, line y equal to negative x. Okay, how you determine? Which is the fx? Which is the gx? Macam mana you nak determine? Ah. Macam mana? Hmm. Muhammad Yamin. Mana Yamin? Macam mana dia determine? How you determine the value of uh, which is fx, which is gx? From this equation. Ah. Yeah. Fx from 0 to 2. Uh -huh. F 0 to 2. Ah, macam ni boleh tahu 0 to 2 fx. Eh, sekejap. Oh, fx dia refer to um, y axis. Y axis, lepas tu gx refer to x axis. Ah, ya. Yeah. Macam mana boleh tak refer macam tu? Hmm. Ha. Hmm. 
Tak pasti kan? Tak pasti Okay, siapa yang pasti? Ah. FX ikut Y doktor FX ikut Y JS ikut Y juga kan? Itu macam ni A to B Y1 minus Y2 ha, Macam tu DY ha, gitu. Eh DY DS lah DX ha. Sebab Y1 tu Y ikut tu apa-apa Y ikut tu apa macam tu lah ha, So sekarang ni macam ni nak identify Yang ni effect Kenapa mesti yang ni effect ni nampak ni Effect 2 minus x squared. Kenapa bukan fx ni? Negatif x ni. Uh, fx mesti lebih besar daripada gx. Ah, fx must be greater and equal to g. Gx. Greater and equal to g. Greater saja. Uh, and equal. Okay. So sekarang ni macam ni kita nak identify. Dia lagi besar. Ah. Ya. Yeah. How? You boleh substitute the value Okay, kalau you substitute value Yang mana lagi besar Okay, contoh kat sini tu minus x squared Let's say you, you choose x equal to 0 Kan So tu minus 0 squared Is equal to 2 This one negative 0 is equal to 0 So tu lagi besar daripada 0 Okay, ha So, you dah tahulah fx ni apa, gs ni apa. Okay, so the x coordinate of the intersection point are the limit of integration. Okay, so kita kena cari coordinate pula lah. Okay, find the limit of integration. Macam cari limit ni? Ha. How to find the limit? Hmm? Macam kita nak cari limit? <coughs> Kenapa dia mesti equalkan? fx is equal to gx. Why? Uh, sebab dua-dua tu y. Dua-dua tu y. Lain? Lain tu? The intersection point. Yes, we want to find the intersection point between. Okay, two graph here. This one and this one. Okay, intersection between two point. So, you get the value of x plus 1, x minus 2. This one, you can rearrange the equation. Then, you can factorize. Then, you get the value of x equal to negative 1. And, this one sepatutnya lah. Sini. Uh, negative 1. Okay, the another one is equal to 2. Okay, so, sini lah intersection point dia. Okay, so, maksud sekarang ni. A M B ni refer kepada nilai S kita lah. So, daripada negatif 1 kepada 2. Dia punya okay, intersection point and this is our limit. Okay. Next, what you should do? Simplify the formula for Fx minus Gx. Kenapa Fx minus Gx? Bukan Gx minus Fx. Nur Ain Hana ni. Kenapa? Hmm. Sebab kita nak nak apa? Kita nak masukkan dalam rumus area fx minus gx. So kita kena simplifykan dulu. Bila dah simplify, dah dapat ni baru kita boleh masukkan dalam okey, equation ataupun formula of area. Okey, we already know the value of x1 which is negative 1 to 2. Okey, then we already simplify the Okay, function which is fx minus gx. Then you can do the process of integration. Okay, so this one follow the rule number. Number apa? Number 1 and number 2. Then you substitute value of 2 and negative 1. So you get the answer which is a 9 over 2 unit square. Why we need square? Because this one is an area. Okay, eh? boleh? Ini you all buatlah sendiri. Ya, yeah, nanti buat sendiri. Kalau tak tahu, boleh bagi tahu, boleh tanya. Okay. So, boundary we change in formulas. Okay, if the formula for A boundary curve change at one or more point, we partition the region into sub-region that correspond to the formula changes and apply. Means that, okay, 
Bila you ada graph kat sini, okay, you nak cari area, maksud you do, you boleh partitionkan dia. Maksudnya separate lah. So, this sign is the area of A and this sign is the area of B. Okay, we still use the formula area. Tapi, maksudnya apa? You kena cari dua area. So, this sign is a, let's say, area pertama. Okay, dan juga ni juga area kedua. So, you kena buat 1 plus 2. Okay, sebab dia boundaries with changing formulas. Okay. Macam mana kita nak tahu dia ni boleh partitionkan dia? Ha, macam mana kita nak tahu? Hmm. Yes, macam mana? Find the area of the region in the first quadrant. So, this can be as a first quadrant. Bounded below by y equal to set x. So, set dia ni. Ni adalah function to set as an square root of x. Above by x exists. Above by x exists. So, mana kita main x exists ni kita exists. X exists kita atas ni. And line y equal to x minus 2. So, this is our line. Okay. So, masa kat sini lah area ni. Okay. Mula-mula kita kena buat apa? Kita kena cari intersection p point antara square root of x dengan x minus 2. Means that you have to y1 is equal to y2. Okay, y1 kita adalah square root of x, y2 adalah x minus 2. Okay, bila you simplify, you akan dapat bentuk quadratic function. Then you have to factorize, then you get the value of x1 is and x4. Ada dua nilai, x1 dengan x4. Okay, so sekarang ni only x equal to 4 satisfy. Kenapa dia kata x equal to 4 satisfy bukan x equal to 1? Amirul Hakim. Ha, kenapa? Only x equal to 4. Dia bagi x equal to 4 je, x equal 1 tak jadi. Pasal apa? Ha? Why? Uh, hmm. Siapa? Uh, kalau Kalau apa kalau kalau uh, yeah. hmm. Kenapa dia kata S itu kosa dekat dua Haa uh, pucuk kosa dua Pucuk kosa apa Haa hmm. uh. uh, apa 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 Haa tak pasti lah Tak pasti. Siapa yang pasti? Ha, kenapa? Kenapa mesti ambil S equal to 4? S equal to 1 ni? Maybe sebab nanti kalau oh, masuk yeah. dalam uh, 1 minus 2 dapat negatif. 1 minus 2? Mana 1 minus 2? Y equal to X minus 2. So, set titik balik nilai X minus 2. Macam-macam ni tak faham? Masukkan nilai? Saya rasa mungkin sebab uh, X equals to 1 tu uh, Bila set titik di Y equals to X minus 2 Dia dapat negatif Negatif, dapat negatif apa? Huh. Okay, nampak ni Equation ni mesti sama Okay, belah kiri dengan belah kanan So, look at here X equals to 1 Set 1 is equal to 1 minus 2 Kan? Design 1, design equal to negative 1. Sama tak? No equal. How about 4? 4 is equal to 1, 4 minus 2. Okay, so 4 is equal to 2. 4 minus 2 equal to 2. Boleh? Faham? Sama? Faham. Eh? Okay, so maksudnya only x equal to 4 satisfy the equation. Apa benda yang certify the equation? Function, ia punya intersection point. Okay. Ni dua ni dapat mana ni dua? Ah. Macam mana dapat dua? Hmm? 
Dua ni. Ni ni. Ha sini. Nampak dua. Ni sebagai apa ni panggil dua ni? Kenapa dua ni? Y is equal to X minus 2. Okay. So this sign is the Y intercept ke X intercept? X intercept. Bila X intercept ni nampak ni. X intercept dekat atas paksi X. Bila X intercept Y is equal to 0. So X minus 2. So X equal to 2. So that's part lah X equal to 2 kat sini. Ha, so maksud sekarang ni 2, 4 here. Okay dah dapat lah ni. Next what should you do? Buat apa lepas tu? Kita nak cari area. Okay. So kita. Okay ni ada kat sini 2. Kat sini ada 4. Dan kat sini automatically 0. Okay. Sedangkan kita tahu. Okay untuk area dia mesti ada X1 dengan X2 saja. So sekarang ni ada berapa nilai? 1, 2, 3. Okay. Okay. Bila 1, 2, 3 jadi buat apa? Kita kena buat partition kan dia. Okay, so this one say A, area for A and this one area for B. Okay. Integrate 0 to 2, y1 minus y3 dx. Kenapa y3 is equal to 0? Ah. Munir mana Munir? Why y3 is equal to 0? Sebab apa? Intercept dia. Intercept? Apa intercept? Why intercept? Why intercept? Betul? Ha, maksudnya sekarang ni dia kata above by x exists. So above by x exists ni lah kan? So, bila berapa by exist, maksudnya dia nak cari area between set x, yeah, square root of x dengan x exist. Bila x exist, y mesti equal to 0. So, this side you get 0 for the y, 3. Okay, then you will get the 0 to 2 x1 over 2 dx. Then you have to do the integral process. Substitute the value of 0 and 2, then you will get the area for a. Okay, next B pula. B y1 minus y2 which is a set x minus x minus 2. Okay. This one sama juga. You can just simplify the equation. Then you have to do the pro pros integral process. Okay. Which is a rule number 2 and rule number 1. Then you have to substitute for 2. Okay. Stop minus stop pressure ni 2 dengan 4. Dah tak guna lah kosong. Sebab kosong ni untuk area untuk A. Sekarang kita cari area untuk B. Bila area untuk B, automatically you have to use the okay, new limit which is a 4 to 2. Okay. Then you will get the answer here. Okay. Next what you should do since we already the partition the. Okay. Do the partition for the area. So you have to add area A and area B. So that's why you have to show this step. Kena tunjuk lah. You tak boleh sampai sini je. Sebab kita pun tak tahu. You nak cari apa. You nak cari area area A ke area B ke. Asing-asing ke. Ataupun gabung ke. Kita tak tahu. Jadi you have to show this step. Which is the area of region A plus area of region B. Then you will get the answer. 10 over 3 unit square. So this side is a compulsory to include. Because this side is a for the area. Okay. Clear? Ah, Senang je kan? Kesusah. Okay. Eh? Boleh eh? So this side exercise you have to do by your own. Check jawapan betul ke tak. Kalau ada problem boleh beritahu. Okay volume. Okay apa beza volume dengan area? Nafisah. Mana Nafisah? What's the difference between yeah, volume and Ah, but what's the difference between volume and area? Uh, kalau volume, uh, kena ada tiga benda tak tu? Apa benda? 3D. Ha? Huh? 3D? Apa 3D? Uh, ah, formula tu sama tak? Volume dengan area? Uh, tak, tak tu. Tak eh? Ha uh ha, -uh, sebab ada pi.
Okay. Nampak? Okay, eh? volume dengan area dia tak sama. Okay. Volume design is a formula for volume. Which is a, there exists a pi here. Pi y square. Tak nampak slide. Ada ni. Ah, tak nampak. MS team. Eh, MS team. Nampak tak MS team. Eh, silap. Nampak? Tak nampak juga? Tak. Dia kata hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> nampak dah? Tak keluar. Tak keluar lagi. Dah, belum. Ini tidak keluar. Join. Hah? Tak, jumpa, tak jumpa lagi. Nampak lagi? Hmm, belum. Belum? Nampak belum? Nampak belum? Belum, Doktor. Saya dah share dah screen. Sekejap, eh. Dah, belum. Tak nampak benda. Tak nampak doktor. Nampak apa eh? Nampak doktor. Nampak doktor punya ikon. Nampak di S. Dia loading, loading gila. Hah? Apa? Nampak nampak doktor punya ikon ni. Nampak profile picture. Haa ah, dah nampak. Oh, okay, dah nampak ah, doktor. Nampak. Nampak. <laughs> nampak dah. Haa <laughs> oh, okey. Nampak ha. doktor. Nampak saya? Nampak slide doktor. Slide. Slide. Nampak slide. Saya buka PDM ke slide kan? Ah, betul. Yeah. Okay. So this is a volume of uh, revolution. Solid of revolution lah. Maksudnya sekarang ni kita belajar volume lah. So formula volume is equal to pi uh, integral 1a to b fx squared dx. So sekarang ni sebelum ni area macam mana? a to b eh a to b fx dx. Ha, jadi kalau dia revert about the x axis maksudnya uh, x axis lah. So sekarang ni you have to okay, follow the formula of the volume. Okay sama juga. Kalau kat sini dx so automatically your function must be in terms of x. Our limit also in terms of x. x1 this one x2. Okay ni. Okay. Kalau dia kata revolve about x axis ni maksud macam mana? Dia macam ni lah. Maksud dia pusing dekat x axis ni. Ha, macam ni. Ha, macam ni eh. Gambar dia macam tu lah. Ha, macam ni. Ha, lebih kurang. Ha, so dia pusing dekat x axis. Ha, satu dia kata revolve about the x axis. Okay. So find the volume when the region bounded by the given curve x axis and the given line is rotated about the x axis. So first of all what should you do? Bila you dapat question you kena buat apa? Ha. Kena buat apa? Hmm? Nur Ain Shafiqah. You dapat question, you kena tulis formula volume is equal to pi A to B fx squared dx. Okay. So sekarang A kita adalah 1, B kita adalah 2. Masukkan nilai fx kat dalam ni. Lepas tu kan squarekan dia. Okay, ataupun you boleh selesaikan dulu. Maksudnya you have to simplify the function dulu. Bila simplify, maksudnya you buat siap-siap kat luar ni. 3x minus x squared. Squared. Uh, ya. Yeah. Boleh tak kita orang yang lelaki ni nak keluar awal sebab kita nak guna prepare untuk Rajmat. Ah, boleh, boleh, boleh. Boleh ya? Ah, boleh. Oh. Thank you, Dr. 
Nice change of day. Sama. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. Okay. Ha. So, you kena expand. Bila you expand, you dapat nilai. Okay, you akan dapat function yang dah simplify. Bila you dah simplify, then you can substitute to the equation. Bila you dah substitute to the equation, okay, what should you do? You can do the integral process. Okay, masukkan nilai 1 to 2 dalam ni. 2 minus 1 lah ni kira-kira. You akan dapat answer. And make sure your answer should be unit cube. Why? Because this sign is for the volume. Okay. Ha, ni revolve about y as this pun sama juga. Make sure you punya limit dalam bentuk uh, nilai y. Okay, and this one dy. So, gy adalah you punya function. Mesti dalam variable y. Contoh ni saya kata dia bagi y is equal to x squared plus 1. Eh, plus 1. Plus apa ni? Plus 8 contohlah. So, sekarang you nak cari gy. So, you have to rearrange the equation which is y minus 8 square root So x, so y, square root of y minus 8 ni kita nak masukkan dalam function ni. Then you can do the process integration as usual. Okay, hmm, ni pun sama lah. You can do by your own. Nampak deh, about the y axis eh. So about the y axis, automatically you can rearrange the equation which is y plus 3. Uh, y plus 3 ni you can masuk dalam formula. Okay. Uh, ni apa benda ni? Revolve about what x exists. Ni kalau ada dua function. Okay. Y1 squared minus Y2 squared. Okay. So this one is a. Kalau ada dua function. You nak cari volume. Okay. Between two function. Then you have to use this formula. Ni sama juga macam area. Sama je. Cuma bezanya dia adalah volume. So you have to follow the formula of volume. Okay. Revolve about what exists pun sama. Okay, make sure you punya nilai limit is in term of y value. Okay, so f y squared minus g y squared d y. Okay, make sure eh, volume dengan area. Okay, the final answer should be positive value. Okay, tak boleh jadi negatif. Kalau negatif maksudnya apa? Maksudnya you dah silap pilih. Okay, which is uh, sepatutnya f x minus g x. Contoh untuk area lah. Ataupun f x squared minus g x squared. Okay, this is for the volume. Let's say ya. Eh. So, sekarang ni, bila dapat negatif, maksudnya apa? Maksud you dah salah pilih nilai f. Ah, Okay, jadi what should you do? You have to do again. Okay, rearrange balik equation. Maksudnya yang you dah salah pilih, you kena jadikan dia sebagai g x. Dia mesti dalam positive value. Area dengan volume akan jadi positive value. Okay. Ha, ni pun you try lah buat sendiri. Sebab senang je. Kalau tak dapat boleh tanya. Soalan. Okay dah. Tak ada dah. Nak try dulu tak buat soalan mana? You rasa susah yang mana yang susah? Takat ni. Mana susah? Example apa? Boleh buat dulu. Ada masa lagi ni? Senang minit. Hmm. Hmm? Ah, mana? Soalan mana? Example 2.18 Ni Okay Find the area of the shaded region 3 minus 1 over exponent unit square So automatically unit square area lah Okay, kalau shaded region maksudnya apa? Kat sini ha, ni. Okay Dia ada cakap tak? Rotate dekat X axis ke? Ada tak? Dia kata tak uh, rotate dekat x axis ataupun y axis. Hmm? Rasa-rasa ni ni soalan ni rotate ke x axis ke y axis? Dia nak cari area. 
Doktor tak faham doktor. Eh apa yang tak faham? Tak faham kat mana? Ha? Ni cari area kan? Kalau cari area dia mesti A to B Fx minus Gx Dx Ataupun C to D Fy Minus Gy Dy ha, Eh Dy ha. Main mana satu ni? A ke B awak nak pilih? Untuk cari uh, area B doktor B, kenapa B? Ha. Kenapa you pilih B? Dia mesti ada reason kan? Kenapa you pilih B kan? Okay, let's say kalau you kata B FY apa FY kamu? FY. Apa FY kita? Adakah FY kita adalah eksponen negatif X plus 2? Uh, ya, Doktor. Ha. Betul ke FY kita ni eksponen, eksponen negatif X plus 2? Doktor bisa ini tak tahu. Hmm? Ha, you kata ambil B kan? Uh, ya, Doktor. Ha. Then, kalau FY, kita kena make sure kita punya function kita ni dalam bentuk Y. Means that oh. you punya function ni, ha, you jadi long lah. You akan kena rearrange the equation so X as sebagai subject. Okay, X as subject. So, macam nak cari? Sebagai Y. Nak jadikan dia X ni. Y is equal to exponent negatif X plus 2. Okay. So, jadi kau X sebagai subjek macam mana nak buat? Hmm. How? Ha, macam nak turunkan X ni? X kat atas. Kalau F Y. Bukan jadi lor. Ah, tukar jadi ln. Okay. So kalau tukar jadi ln maksudnya dia apa ni? Ln y is equal to ln e. Ln e negatif x plus ln 2. Then ni akan jadi dapat apa ni? Ln y is equal to negatif x plus ln 2. Kan? Ni akan jadi apa? x is equal to ln 2 minus ln Y. Ah, function ni lah you kena masukkan dalam bentuk Fi. Okay, lagi? Gi apa Gi? Ah, apa Gi? Hmm. Kalau Gi ni dia refer kepada apa? Dia refer kepada Ah. Paksi X ke paksi Y? GY ni. Hmm. Paksi X ke paksi Y? Okay. Kalau yang ni refer kepada Y. Nilai Y. Y1 dengan Y2. So bila Y dengan Y2 kat sini lah. You punya. This one is a Y1. This one is a Y2. Okay. Y1 dengan Y2. Okay. Jadi bila Y1 Y2. Maksudnya kat sini apa benda yang kosong? X sama dengan kosong. Kan? X sama dengan kosong. Sebab dia melintasi Y. Okay. Melintasi uh, Y intercept. X equal to 0. So automatically design kita minus 0. Okay. Lepas tu. Ha. Buat apa? Ha. Dimasukkan dalam Function ni lah Function ni dia akan dapat Integrate 
0 to 3. Lon 2 minus lon y. D, dy. Ha, lepas tu nak integrate macam ni, integrate ni. Eh? Hmm. Integrate lon 2 macam dapat apa? Integrate negatif lon y dapat apa? Ha, dah dapat integrate. You kena masukkan nilai 0 to 3. Okay. Ha, lepas tu dapatlah nilai apa-apa. Kalau ini, fx manager x ni. You direct je guna eksponen negatif x plus 2. Minus gx which is the ni sini kan ha, sini adalah y is equal to 0 so exponent negatif x plus 2 minus 0 from 0 to 1 d dx ok lepas tu ha, lepas apa you kena integrate lah Integrate exponent negatif x Lepas tu integrate d Dapat apa Rasa-rasa jawapan ni dengan jawapan ni sama tak? Ha, you kena check Sama ke tak sama Bila sama ha, Apa you boleh buat kesimpulan Kalau tak sama Apa yang you boleh buat kesimpulan Okay Boleh? Faham? Dia kena macam tu Dia macam Bila ada dua uh, Kemungkinan yang akan jadi, maksudnya, kan kat sini kan, kita ada dx dengan kita ada dy. Okay. So, sekarang ni kata find the area of the shaded region. Dia tak cakap pun about x axis ke, about y axis ke, jadi kita pun confused. Ha. Tapi kalau saya, saya guna dx teruslah, direct ke dx. Okay. Ha. Tapi, you tadi kata nak guna fygy. Okay. Okay. So, sekarang ni, bila you cari fygy ni, dia sama tak dengan yang ni? Kalau tak sama, apa yang you boleh buat conclusion? Apa, kalau sama, apa yang you boleh buat conclusion? Ha, dia kena cuba, dia kena try. Dia tak boleh macam, ok dah ni buat ini, lepas tu dapat jawapan, ok dah siap. Ha, ok. Tu rezeki lah. Kalau dapat jawapan, dapat uh, buat ini, dapat jawapan. Cuba dia kalau saya kata dia tak bagi jawapan. Ha, bila tak bagi jawapan, you pun tak tahu. Yang ni ke yang ni sebenarnya. Ha, macam tu. Kalau dia bagi jawapan ni, hint lah kat situ. Maksudnya, ok, you faham konsep. Okay, you boleh buat macam tu. Okay, eh? Boleh? Faham tak? Boleh, Doktor. Boleh. Okay. Uh, sekejap, eh. You all dah habis kelas, kan? You ada kelas ke tadi pagi tadi? Lapas tengah sampai sepuluh setengah? Ada, Doktor. Kelas apa? Fizik. Oh, fizik. Okay, faham? Um, you ada try Rasa macam nak tukar kelas tak Waktu kelas Sepuluh setengah dua setengah ni Kau okey je sebenarnya Kelas sepuluh setengah Pada dua setengah Hah Okey ke tak okey Kalau kalau okey tak apalah Kalau tak okey Kalau nak tukar kelas Hari selasa lah Asal sepagi Kalau you all nak lah Kau tak nak tak apa hmm, Tapi kalau nak tukar kelas Kena cakap dengan staff-staff Perakbiran lah kalau you kalut-kalut kan macam tadi siapa minta minta keluar awal kan ha. ok lah nanti you all fikir, uh, fikir apa? Uh, nanti kita dah bincang dulu boleh doktor? Uh, 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 bincang bincang dulu nanti bagi tahu lah kalau okay, kata, boleh, ha, ha, maksudnya macam kita tukar kelas bukan sesaja tau ha, kita tukar kelas sebab ada sebab apa aja tu macam saya kelas saya pukul uh, Isnin uh, Isnin tu ada pas setengah lima setengah produk tutorial sign perubatan Uh, dia ada kelas petang tu je Pagi-pagi tu petang tu uh. Jadi saya tukar kelas lah awal kan Jadi petang tu dia tak ada kelas dah Macam tu lah Kalau kita tukar kelas bersebab Bukan sahaja uh, Macam kelas ni kan 11, uh, 12 tengah kan Tadi you pun you all punya kawan Terpaksa keluar awal kan uh, macam tu. Saya ok saya kisah pun Tapi you all lah Ok Kalau tak ada apa-apa Kita end our class with us Bila kaparan InsyaAllah Subhanakallah Alhamdulillah Asyadu'an Nainah Inan Dasar Perkawan Tumina Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Al-Asinah Insana Lafiqus Inan Lazina Amani Wa Amin Usana Fatuma Sabil Haq Wa Tawasa Bisa Ok Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. You're welcome. Thank you, Dr. You're welcome. Thank you, Dr.
Assalamualaikum.